Day of school, speaking of fall, is coming up and it could definitely cause you some anxiety as you're looking for those supplies, clothes, sanitizer, what else you need for your kids. And on your side, Tatia Collins, she actually spoke with parents about how to make that transition a little bit easier for you. It's like pulling teeth with my boys sometimes getting an answer other than good when I ask how their day was. With two boys heading into sixth and eighth grade, Katie Hathaway says there is always stress getting back into a new school year. It's interesting getting them organized. I have two boys and they're going into a new block schedule this year. So that's going to be new for our whole family. So just trying to figure out how to best prepare them, keep them organized and making sure that they're prepared for the school day each day. Back to school anxiety can cause students to feel restless, tense and even cause headaches. So how do you make back to school as easy as one, two, three? Kevin Peterson, a family counselor and owner of the Chronic Hope Institute, says it starts with communication. You'll see sort of eruptions over normal things, like big reactions about little things. And it's tempting sometimes as a parent to be like, hey, what's wrong with you? And, and, and that's really not the approach. The approach we want to take is to say, hey, what's going on? What's happening? Other suggestions as students head back to school, establish a routine early on, organize school supplies, break down the class schedule, or take a visit to the school. If they know some of their classmates or some of their neighbors uh, are going to the same school, do it as a group. Uh, that always helps because kids always feel safer when they know someone and they can connect with someone immediately. Enrolling students in an activity like a sport or theater class can also create a safe place and reduce anxiety. Reporting, Atia Collins, First Coast News, on your side.